In this video I'll be showing you how to make sticky toffee pudding that also incorporates the use of ale. If you are new around here and would like to see more cooking and baking videos then start right now by hitting the subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. The particular ale I'm using in this bake is a sweet and spicy ale with hints of toffee that is brewed locally to myself. If you do not wish to use an ale you could substitute with something like coffee or even just use water. Place ale into a pan and then place on the stove and bring to the boil. While the beer is coming up to the boil, grease six pudding basins. You will only need five for this recipe, but it's always better to have one spare. If you do not have any pudding basins, this recipe works perfectly well as a tray bake. Once the beer has come to the boil, add the dates and bicarb, mix well and then set aside to cool. Place the sugar, butter and vanilla essence into a bowl and then cream well. Once creamed, beat the egg and then add to the mixture and then mix in well again. Add the flour and the mixed spice and mix well. At this stage it will form a very thick paste, almost similar to pastry consistency. Add the cooled date and beer mix to the bowl. Add roughly 50% initially and then work through well to loosen up the, the mixture and then gradually add the rest of it in. You should end up at the end with a loose batter. Spread the batter evenly between the pudding basins. As you can see towards the end here, I did have one that was slightly under, if that's the case, use a spoon to take a little bit of batter out of the other moulds until you have an even mixture across all five moulds. Place cold water into the baking tray around the pudding moulds to create a bain marie. Place the puddings into the oven on 160 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes or until baked. You will know when they're baked when you can remove them freely from the moulds and then if you tap them they should have a hollow feel and sound to them. Once out of the oven a good way to check that your sticky toffee pudding has been baked fully is to give it a light touch on top. It should have a soft spongy springy feel to it. If you are enjoying the video and would like to see more cooking and baking then why not hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. To make sure the pudding sits firm when you're serving, take a bread knife and very gently slice away the top of the pudding to give a nice flat surface. For serving, place the pudding into the microwave for approximately one minute. You do not want to heat it back up through the oven, as due to the moisture content, the oven could dry the pudding out. Instead of a toffee sauce, I prefer to serve mine with a butterscotch sauce. If you wish to do the same, you can find the recipe on the channel. Finally to finish I'm serving it with some clotted cream, you could serve as an alternative at vanilla ice cream. If you have enjoyed this sticky toffee pudding video then be sure to give it a like, comment and share to your social media channels and to never miss a future upload why not consider subscribing and why not check out one of the videos on screen now.